Hello everybody, this is N2RGT, Tim. And this is how I built my 40, 80, 160 meter inverted V antenna, which was designed by uh, Dave, KG0ZZ. This is Dave. He has a website and he's also on Facebook. He has some great projects. This is the uh, 40, 80, and 160 meter antenna. And uh, again, this is one of my favorites, and I think you're really going to enjoy this. But after you've seen all of those videos, I'm sure you understand how to do this, and all you need now are just the sizes of the antenna. This is Dave's feed point connector, and uh, he suggested uh, doing something to hold your coax so all the weight isn't on the, on the feed point there. So I did it with zip ties, made a little chain out of zip ties. So here's my tower, and I've raised the uh, inverted V up. It's it's about 40 feet, I believe. And one leg goes down. There's the 80-meter uh, coil. And then down here to 160-meter coil. And then finally I've got it tied off to the base of this tree on the one leg. Now the other leg goes over the top of the house. This is the only uh, way I had room to put the antenna up so you can see it's uh, only a couple feet over the top of the house. Right there is the 80 meter coil and then it runs on over and attaches to this little tree here. I'll show you a little better angle on it. So there's the tree, there's the 160 coil there's the 80 meter section, which is right over the house. So let's go into the shack and uh, check the SWR, put it on the analyzer. Here we are in the 40 meter band. Looks like uh, SWR is very good down in the lower section of the band. We're at a 1 to 1 at 7.1 megahertz. And as we go up into the uh, phone portion of the band, 225, we're at 1.3. Running about 46 ohms, 45 ohms. Here we go, uh, 7.25 again is a 1.5. All right, now we're moving up 1.7 at uh, 7.3 megahertz. That's pretty darn good. I've never operated on the 160 meter band. That's uh, 1.8 to 2 megahertz. And it looks like the lower part of the band, the SWR is pretty high. But as I get up near 1.9, you can see SWR drops. Got a one-to-one -one match there, about 1.9. So things are looking good from about 1.9 to 1.92. And from there it goes, SWR goes back up again. Now I'll come back down and we can watch our SWR fall. Till we get down around 1.9 again. It looks like in the 80 meter band, I'm resonant at about 372 to 375. So a very narrow part of the band right here. Here things are dropping down. 1.4. So I'll do a little experimenting and see if I can improve uh, 80 meters and maybe lower uh, the 160 meter section too. On Dave's uh, website and his uh, YouTube video he uh, talks about putting a tuning stub on the end of the uh, wire. Here he is. And this is, uh, you can attach it to the 160 meter coil like that. Or he also suggested that you could put it on the end, 
I think this is what I'll do. So I'll attach the tuning stub and and see uh, what happens. I'll experiment a little bit and uh, maybe get in contact with Dave. He's very good about offering advice, and uh, he gets right back to you. There's his Facebook page, so he's got a website and a Facebook page. It's a pretty cool antenna. One wire, three bands. Looking good so far.